Good evening. Unemployment rates are on the decline, but we know many of you are still waiting on your benefits through the CARES Act, specifically that federal pandemic unemployment compensation. That's right, Carrie. Starting next month, though, the state will no longer be paying that. So what does this mean for you? News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs with the answer. Uh, I was self-employed. Um, pretty much we had a tornado come in and then on top of that, um, the COVID and that pretty much just ruined everything. Kyle Mullen, like many others, found himself falling on hard times. Um, after a while, I just pretty much found myself needing to rely on um, state services in order to be able to pay bills. Mullen, a rideshare driver, filed for unemployment benefits with the state back in March. Now, three months later, he's without a car and hasn't seen a dime of those benefits. I ended up having to let that go just to have the money. And uh, I've just been trying to be diligent to call um, and email and um, try to get a response. Around 21,000 new unemployment claims were filed in Tennessee for the week ending June 20th. And this week, the Tennessee Department of Labor and Workforce Development announced the federal COVID-19 unemployment program will end next month. It's just a waiting game. Uh, the extra 600 comes on it automatically. Um, it's just actually getting the disbursements, the payouts. CARES Act guidelines requires the state to end the $600 per week federal pandemic payments on July 30th. But because Tennessee benefits are handed out on Saturdays, the final federal payment will go out July 25th. A lot of people out here just kind of floating in the wind trying to figure out which way to go. People like Mullen with eligible pending claims and completed weekly certifications before July 25th will retroactively receive their state and federal payments. Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5. Thank you, Kelsey. There are two additional unemployment relief programs that are part of the CARES Act. Pandemic Emergency Unemployment Compensation and also Pandemic Unemployment Assistance. Those programs will continue through December 26th of this year.